Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Armored League Simulator, where today we've got to get back to the grind because in this last week's update, the developers, I don't want to say they did us a little dirty. They added 20 new Super Rebirth to the game and technically the community did actually vote for this to be added. So I can't really be mad, but knowing myself, knowing that I always want to have everything maxed out on my main account, whether that being virtually every game pass, all the potions, all the pets, all the arms, you name it. I basically want to have it. That means we're going to have to get all of the 20 new Super Rebirths today. And that means that the 4.2 octillion strength that we have grinded up over the last like three months is going to be wiped away in just a moment whenever we super rebirth but hopefully we'll be able to gain it back kind of fast-ish well I, I guess not really uh they did uh, release the new world nine as you guys know but once you super rebirth you actually lose access to all of the worlds that you have so we won't even have access to the super op training method over here in world nine which for some reason i'm i'm picking it up and i'm not uh getting access to it there we go like with literally no time boost no friends boost we're getting 82 qi with our strength team absolutely insane numbers here so so wild but again we're just gonna have to bite the bullet we're gonna do this now we we still need to train up a ton of extra strength to beat the final boss the molten blaze here in world nine and uh, i decided since we haven't even been able to train up strength because we were out of town when the update dropped we might as well go ahead and super rebirth and get this out of the way because if i were to train up to 10 octillion strength to be able to beat the molten boss and then super rebirth that would suck because we'd go from 10 octillion strength all the way down to zero so i think the best thing to do is just this is kind of like ripping off a band-aid it's something you never really want to do but it is good for you i believe our maximum uh stat multiplier at the end of all this is going to be 3900 percent so we will get a pretty sizable training boost uh again right now we are getting around 82 uh qi per curl i guess like 83 qi per curl so hopefully by the end of this we'll be able to get close to around 100 qi per curl i definitely want to see so it will help us reach uh this final boss faster which is really good but again it's just like a band-aid i don't want to rip it off but we're gonna have to oh that sucks dude that sucks so freaking much holy crap <laughs> i haven't seen this in so long this is my main account i haven't seen the noob tag zero strength on my main account in so long now there's 20 super rebirths and it's pretty easy to actually like get back up there because of our uh, i guess just like everything we have on this account we have the op auto click game pass oh no dude i forgot they added the uh the the garden that kind of sucks uh, because of our, our our wins potions, we basically only have to beat these bosses one time in addition to our winner winner team. So our winner winner team, if you guys don't know, let me see. Uh, dude, the, the, the way the inventory is laid out is super weird. But all of these pets have winner winner five, which e each pet gives me 40% more wins. So I have 45 pet equips and with a 40% boost, I believe that is a base like 13x multiplier. But then I have uh, the double X wins game pass right here. So then that's around like a 30 X multiplier. I think the math is uh, so we can then stack that with a double wins potion. So then uh, the math ends up working out to being roughly like a 72 X wins multiplier. When I have this team equipped, when I have this, these potions applied, uh, so again, we really only have to beat these bosses just a few times in order to progress to the next world, which is really nice. Uh, so typically without any wind teams, you would have to beat this boss upwards of like a hundred times. But because we have a 72x winds boost, we only have to beat the Kraken boss a solid five times. And we are, or was that four times? Was that but maybe four times? I, I might not even count that right. Four times. And we are out of the world. Uh, we can auto train biceps. I mean, this is going to be the craziest rinse and repeat process ever. Uh, I, I don't even know how many wins we actually need to get to the next super rebirth. Uh, we have enough strength to beat the boss though. So let's see, Mutant King. We only need to beat the Mutant King three times. And wait, three, is it three times? 
Did I get that right? Three times, yeah, in order to escape the bunker. So literally, within the span of two minutes, we have gone from noob to world five on our account. I mean, that, that's what happens when you have a, a pretty OP account like myself. Uh, but, but let's see. Okay, we actually don't even need to train up strength because we have a, a bunch of strength. So, let's see. How many times do we have to beat the mammoth? We get, oh, that's a problem. 13 SX, uh, means we would have to beat the mammoth a total of, ooh, how many times is that? I don't actually know. That's, that's probably like 30 times, uh, in order to escape this world. So, it's not bad, but definitely not great. But let me go and see. With 100 SX wins, is that enough to rebirth? Because the way it works, you rebirth, uh, and then you have to be able to rebirth enough to the point where then you can super rebirth, but I don't know where... Oh, nice. Okay, perfect. So we were able to at least super rebirth from 61 to 62 in World 5, but I think there is going to come a point where in order to super rebirth, we are probably going to have to uh, be able to unlock world six i don't know this but that's just kind of my guess at the moment so i'm not looking forward to that but again this is just kind of like a uh, muscle memory at this point this teleport game pass also saves me so much time we auto train knuckles we put on the strength team we put on the wins team we go fight the crack and boss bada bang beat him uh five times and we're out of there actually i lied it's just four times so yeah i mean th this process isn't very entertaining which is probably why i'm just going to do a time lapse for most of it uh i would see I i'm pretty curious myself as to how deep into the process we're gonna uh have to get in order to reach the full 80 super rebirths uh and luckily we have already uh maxed out all these upgrades because if you didn't know uh you could use super rebirth tokens to purchase powerful upgrades uh i don't know it says extra lucky they don't say how much extra luck this is this could be 10 percent luck this could be 100 percent luck uh the plus one pet equip is nice it is pretty expensive i think it's like 15 super rebirths per uh slot the walk speed pretty useless but i wanted to max out anyways early on pet storage is is kind of useful i don't know if it's plus one or if it's like plus five uh and enchant luck this is actually kind of helpful if you ever end up grinding a bunch of enchants because i don't think there's any sort of game passes uh but luckily we have everything maxed out so we basically just need to uh grind out a bunch of uh rebirths and we just have 18 to go so i've done more than my fair share of super rebirth grinding over the course of my time of grinding this game but yeah oh that's not good yeah that was actually not good at all uh we are definitely gonna have to ha have to reach world six the strength isn't even like the 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 the, the limiting factor because i was like oh wait i haven't even been like buying trails and uh, all that stuff that's not the part it's just the wins uh and especially in world six where i have to beat the boss actually i'll, I'll do a bit of math when we when we get to them uh to that to that boss next time just to see but i i, I do think it is around being that boss 30 times and in, in, in able to in order to escape which is uh it's not looking good for your boy back in world five let's see we get 13.3 sx yeah we have to beat the boss 38 times and let me see let me time this how fast can i beat bosses in this game a uh, about once every three seconds so it'll basically take me around two ish minutes to go from world five to world six which i know doesn't sound like a lot but when i'm having to do this process 20 times and then even then i'm gonna have to go to world six and maybe when i get to world six i have to go to world seven it's just gonna be a snowball effect and i'm really scared that i have started a process that is gonna take way longer than i anticipated like i was like oh this might be a few hours like this might be like two hours uh, oh dude that i'm i'm little i'm now realizing this might be like four five six hours but uh i don't know we're we're gonna grind it out for the next like hour or so and uh i'm gonna check back in currently we have 64 super rebirths under our belt and again we have uh we've only been doing this for around 13 minutes or so so uh but i mean we get four super rebirths in that time period that's not bad uh also considering i've been explaining stuff and and, and whatnot for the video so we're really gonna we're gonna put down the pedal to the metal and we're gonna see how many super rebirths we can get uh through the next hour but i i really hope 
uh, we don't have to unlock world seven in order to do this or else this, this is just going to be a very, very long process. been grinding for about an hour now a little over an hour as you see we've uh, started to grind into world seven because we've been starting to need a ton of wins in order to actually super rebirth and this is what i was really worried about but we are currently on super rebirth number 73 uh i i definitely could have been going a little bit faster but watching some super, some some videos as i super rebirth because this process is just so boring uh, but I think we have enough wins to where we, we don't need to worry about uh, needing to get, like, a ton more strength. Uh, we just really need to spend an extra probably, like, 20-ish more minutes. No, I just deleted my winner winner team. You guys just saw that happen. Bro, how am I going to make that again? Ah, just kidding. I can do that pretty easily. Never mind. But then I also realized one of the really big problems is, okay, cool. We'll have 80 super rebirths. But then we're gonna have to get all of like the actual rebirths. And I, 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 for the life of me, can't remember how many wins you actually need in order to do that. Like, I know you need to be somewhere in World 7, but I'm not sure where in World 7, how far along in World 7 you have to be. And the last time they released a bunch of rebirths, I think was back in like, it was like three months ago. So I'm way stronger. I have way better pets. I have way better trails, way better arms. So hopefully... It won't take me nearly as long to actually get uh, a max rebirth compared to uh, to last time. Or well, actually, I, I never actually got max rebirth. I think I was like one or two away. Little, little known secret right there. So yeah, we're also, we're maxing our super rebirths and our normal rebirths for the first ever time uh, since the brand new update. And then I'm not even sure where our, our like percentage boost is going to end up. I mean, we're all going to be finding out together at the end of this video. But yeah, this process did it's, it's such a stupid big grind. It's so insane. And I really hope for, the, for, for my sanity that I don't have to do this. I don't want to say ever again, but, uh, for, for quite a while because it's, it's just never fun. And especially like, I think for these 20 soup rebirths, I'm literally getting like 10% extra strength increase, which is sort of helpful, but like not really, really helpful. So yeah, our update, we've only got a few super rebirths to go, but then the really big grind is probably going to be getting actual rebirths, which is going to really suck. well gamers the time has finally come we can do the deed we can max out our super rebirths oh my gosh it is it's taken about two hours we could have probably done about an hour and a half if i was a little bit more diligent but this is super rebirth number 80 and there is no more left in the game Oh, that is good to be able to say that. Now, that, that that's not where the trouble ends. And that's kind of where the trouble begins. Because now we have to get all the way back up to... I don't even know how many rebirths there are. And in an even more troubling manner, I don't know how long this is going to take. I think if... I, I was trying to rack my brain. And I'm like 99% sure that I'll, I'll need somewhere around 200 in wins. And uh, that's not really a problem considering there's world eight and now world nine that just give an insane amount of wins. Uh, so I think what I'm probably gonna do is get to world seven, do an, uh, an overnight AFK session for strength 
So that way, when I wake up in the morning, I'll have enough wins. So that way I can just move right on to world eight. And then world eight, I should be able to guarantee get way more than enough wins to max out my rebirths. And then uh, we can start grinding from world eight, get to world nine, and then hopefully start beating the bosses, opening the new eggs, all that good stuff. I'm definitely not doing this on my other accounts uh, because if I wanted to do this on all of my other accounts, I mean, that would be like 20-ish hours of work in total. Actually, probably more because I don't have as good of arms and game passes and everything and pets and loadouts and all those accounts. And so yeah, and all in all, it would probably be upwards of like 20 to 25 hours if I wanted to get all of my other accounts uh, super rebirthed uh, all the way up to, to level 80. And again, it's like, for what 10 percent extra strength gain like i really don't think it's that big of a deal for really i just kind of wanted to do it to see how how long it would take on my main account and yeah it sucked and it was a grind but yeah that's the game plan I'm gonna go ahead and do an overnight afk session to get the 20 sp strength we need on uh, this account and then we'll wake up see if we can't get the remaining rebirths we need to get everything maxed out and finally i've completed this portion of the new update well, uh, it didn't actually take all night, and it only took, I think, like, 40 or 50 minutes. And we just had 20 SP strength. And let's go see, can we beat Dr. Propulsion? Oh, yes, we can. And I'm not gonna lie, I already beat him a few times. We already have enough wins to move on to the next world. We only had to beat him, actually, a few times, like 10 times in total, to move on to the Roman Empire, which is perfect, because hopefully here... Wait, how many wins do we actually need to beat the easiest guy? 100, 147 SP be bro i'm down so bad okay we do have a friends boost server sort of going on here with around like a 60 percent friends boost if we go over here we auto train with our strength team we are getting 77 qi per curl let's see trails 1.3 in okay we have basically the best trail we can afford same thing with the arm I think we're just gonna have to sit here until we're able to beat this noob, which uh, might actually be a while, because as you can see, we're gaining strength a little slower than I would like. Once we stay in the server for a while, we'd be getting like 200 QI per curl, which is way more than enough. But dude, it's actually gonna take us like maybe a day or two to escape this world. Oh my gosh. I have a bunch of other videos I want to record and like this is kind of why I didn't want to do this. Like I didn't need to. I'm only gonna be getting like an, an additional like a very very small percent overall strength gain boost when it comes to this and i went from like what is that four or five octillion strength to 21 sp so yeah i think we're just gonna chill here for a while until we could beat the new boss and then hopefully we will be able to get enough wins getting up to like 1d or so and then that will be enough to rebirth all the way to the final rebirth amount and then we can get back up grinding strength so that way we can get back to the underworld and get back to grinding up to getting better pets well, with 243 SP strength, we can go ahead and chuck on our winner winner team. Oh, we can't fight the divine trainer. Oh my gosh. But we can fight the new boss, which gives us a 5.4 in wins, I believe. I want to say it's something like, oh my gosh, it's something crazy, like 250 in wins. So we're going to play it safe. We're going to get like 500 in wins. So that way, when we use all of our rebirths, then we will be completely, totally safe and we will have maxed everything up because if we're not safe and we're just a little bit short on wins, then we're gonna have to redo all of this over again and we're gonna take, we're gonna take even more hours. Like we, we've probably spent all in all, uh, I wanna say like six or eight hours, maybe even more grinding up all these rebirths and strengths and wins. So I'm, I'm definitely looking to get it done right here, right now. All right, well, there's only one way to see if this was all worth it. We just spam out a bunch of rebirths. 4.5, 11, 28, yes! We were in the clear. We went a little bit overboard, but I was a little bit worried. Our new boost is 57, 45%. I believe before it was like, 5400%. So actually we did all this for like a not even a 10% boost, like a like a 7% boost in in training. And now we're back down to zero strength all over again. Yeah, that's the wonderful world of arm wrestling simulator. You can go from the top of the world to the bottom in a matter of moments, but we finally have maxed out rebirths and super rebirths. 
And uh, the last time, I believe they added rebirths was like three or four months ago. So hopefully the next time they do this, will be in like another three or four months but for now we need to get grinding big time and we need to get our butts back to the underworld because again we have a lot of videos i want to get done and uh we need a lot of strength in order to get those videos made so as always hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys in the next one deuces